Well, he wasn't in touch. Swansea also protesting. Perhaps the final pass from Neil Jenkins was forward. Let's see it again. It's a good switch by Paul John. Lovely flick pass there. Might have been forward if there's anything, but he wasn't in touch. That's for certain. Ga Galen Jenkins and Stuart Davis complaining bitterly. I don't know why. Probably because they conceded a try, John. <laughs> Lewis, he's a regular try scorer, as well, well, try scorer when he has his chance for Pontefield. That's his fourth this season, only his fifth league game. And he scored three against Swansea in the league here last season as well. Kevin Morgan was up, the pass didn't come. Neil Jenkins held on that time, Alan Williams is the tackler. Neil McIntosh came from deep, not quite deep enough though, and Chavis and Stuart Davis were waiting. The reason Ponderbeen scored that try, for the first time this game, they used some quick line-up ball to set the ball up in midfield. Before, it's been slow from Greg Cross, even though he has been winning a lot of ball, but that change of style, quick ball back to Paul John, created space on the blind side. Just a quiet little word from referee Paul Adams. Get on with the game, stop talking. That was the instruction to the two front rows. <laughs> Lovely hands great crosser. Used to be a number eight crosser in earlier days with the South Wales Police. Just hang on, Alan Harris, almost clear. Driving in, Monty will take it quickly. Matthew Lloyd is the man who does so. Paul John, the little chip is called for. It's rebounded across a charging upfield. Huge man, Crosser, 18 stone four. Jenkins. Just painting the inside pass to Martin Williams. They've kept possession. All the forwards are standing off. The outside half is at the bottom of the ball. Offside against Swansea. To give everyone a breather and a chance for Neil Jenkins to extend the lead. What a game Greg Cross is having, winning all the line up ball and then doing so well in the loose as well. Crosser had his one cap for Wales in the World Cup out at Ellis Park, Johannesburg against New Zealand. But his partner, Mark Rowley, has taken the accolades and the recognition this season. Rowley, who's injured, a little concerned. Reports from the dressing room, he might have broken his hand. And that could be a, a big blow for Wales before they face England in a fortnight. Rowley had his best game for Wales in Paris a fortnight ago. at the moment, now it's 14. Touch. Matthew back to drive them back. Kevin Morgan. And a little clip from Dale McIntosh for Matthew back. Always a warm welcome at uh, Sardis Road for former players who have left and returned with other clubs.
Matthew back in an outstanding game last Saturday down at St Helens. I like the way Jim McIntosh protected Kevin Morgan, the French fashion. Yes, the big number eight looking after his little fullback. Maori looking after the Welshman. Arnold did well. Moore, well, passed on a little bit of pressure there to Dean Thomas. Booth. That's a deliberate knock-on, so that's a, a penalty for Swansea. I think Swansea would be better off just kicking the ball right down into the corner and getting the line out. Your voice carries, JJ. Alan Williams pushes Ponty backwards. One against the head for Pontypridd. One against the throw. On the line out, and that's the man. The throw was good enough for him. McIntosh read it well, though, didn't he? Cameras. No wonder Pontypridd didn't disclose beforehand whether McIntosh was fit to play, whether he was selected to play. Try to fox a full Swansea by saying the number eight wouldn't be there. But all of a sudden he does appear, and he is an immense presence on the rugby field. Yes, they certainly missed him uh, last week in Swansea. They like to do the back row charges. on halfway oh dear Neil Jenkins wanted to kick that before he caught it and that's a rare mistake in Potterfield colors from Neil Jenkins the captain I think Neil's head was up looking for the corner to kick into took his eye off the ball very rare Booth turning inside to Stuart Davis initially, then Steve Moore, now Colin Chavez. Chavez does inject a little bit of purpose to it all, and now comes Matthew back. Always competitive Matthew back. Offside, Pontypridd. Keep up the tempo, that's Swansea's policy. Garin Jenkins slips it out nicely to back. Arnett Williams has it. Mark Taylor straightened it nicely. And then Harris for the corner. Held out by Carl Kevin Morgan. And that's the closest ones you've been all game. 18 minutes gone of the second half. And Pontefree's saver was young fullback Kevin Morgan. John. Just slowing it down, regaining composure, making sure this throw is right to give Greg Cross, I'm sure, every chance. <laughs> Safe, dependable. The throw from John, the take by Prosser. The pass from scrum half, John. And the clearance by Skipper New Jenkins. That's the way to do it. Yes, they've perfected the, the defensive line of Dovney. The throwing in is good, the catch in is perfect, and delivery back to the half backs. The Swansea wanted this try here. Harris given the ball, given the overlap. Perfectly judged by Taylor, gives it to him, but Kevin Morgan, so much pace again. Harris tries to run about it, run around him, but the full back does well, even though he takes him high. 
Interesting, uh, the Swansea wingers. They did it last week when Simon Davis and Warren Leach were there, JJ. They play the stronger Leach on the blind side throughout and then let the faster man, be it Simon, Harris, uh, Simon Davis or Alan Harris here, to exploit the open spaces on the open side. Kevin Hopkins, of course, calls it the open side and blind side. Two mistakes in two minutes from number 10. 